happy summer. It's not the season to be saying that your children are your pride and joy because people might look at you and say, what parade are they? And there's all kinds of parades going on. I still say we need to have gun parades. Everyone who likes a gun and wants to go out and share with the world, try to influence people, we should be doing that as well. Canadian Tire in Canada. Yesterday, I was on the west side in Kelowna, British Columbia, and I dropped into a Canadian Tire store, and I was really surprised that they have a brand new gun shop there. Holy, a long gun everywhere and the hunting cultures come to Canada. They uh, had that many, many years ago and then with the outcry from all the leftists who said guns are bad, the store chain took them out and then several years later they started selling air guns and BBs and pallets and ammunition for the regular guns as well. But only now have I been witness to this. It was pretty cool. John is the general manager there and he gave me a tour more or less of all of the, you know, what was in the shelves and, and I was impressed. Watchdog investors Investigators now in Alberta, Canada are looking into a deal inked by former Alberta uh, Conservative government officials with regard to a golf course. Firstly, why would anybody, a government rather, own a golf course? They have no business doing that in Alberta. It's so strange because you had the guys who said they were conservative, even though progressive was in front of that uh, verbiage, right? They said they were right wing and they owned a golf course. And they own a bank. And they own all kinds of things. They were a bunch of commies in disguise anyway. And now the NDP government is going to power. They're socialists, supposedly, and they have said governments shouldn't own golf courses. It's kind of a twist here, isn't there? I mean, in some ways, you're better off to have them. I mean, they're all the same. The party lines are blurred. I mean, it's an embarrassing thing uh, when uh, you hear that a conservative government owns golf courses and a luxury golf course that and it's called the Cananassis Golf and Country Club or something like that. Here's a guy in uh, Norway. He's a convicted killer and he killed 77 people. The numbers were all over the place and sometimes I read 65 and other times 72 and so on but today it's 77. Doesn't matter when you get up into those numbers. I mean it's a terrible tragedy anyway, isn't it? He killed 77 people and he wounded 130 people and under Norwegian law, capital punishment doesn't exist so you get life imprisonment and life is 20 years. This guy can be out walking among us within a 20 year period of time. Wow. But anyway, the story here is, is he now wants to go to university so when he does get out, he really believes he will get out and probably he will based on their law, he wants to go to school. So he's now in the Oslo University and he's taking political science. I mean, how bad is all this stuff? I mean, really bad. Abbotsford, here's bad, funny bad. In Abbotsford, British Columbia, a man was blast, just plastered. He was drunk as can be and he was driving his car and weaving all over and he thought, uh-oh, there's police everywhere. So he saw a taxi cab, he rolled up beside him and he staggered out of his car and staggered over to the taxi, got into the back seat and says, get me out of here, there's police everywhere. And the driver looked around and says, actually, you're in a police car. I'm a cop and he drove him to jail. Hey, hey, y'all come back tomorrow. We're going to more for you from the right. See ya.